Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. You've been seeing a few bits I've been doing this morning. This is the second lift. And for these bungalows, this is the height the roof goes on. So, I'm going to show you young apprentices, Britlayers out there who serve the time, who are just getting to grips with everything. And some stuff for you older boys that uh, do things your own way, but this is the way I do them. So what I like to do is, I like to get the brickwork round first to height, get my gables in. Then, once these gables are done, I leave these sections where we've got soldiers over windows so that this goes off and I can pull straight off it. All I do is I attach a jag clamp to there, which you've seen, jag clamp to there, run my little bits in, then use the jag clamps for the top, put my four foot level across, or a profile if it was a long window, set my blues, leave them there, tidy up, come back, take my clamps off, that will have held. You can use a little trick where you put some bricks across to hold it, which we'll show you on the other side. Keep moving backwards, my man. Well, that's to height there. Then I do the same with these fronts, get everything up to lintel height, get me inside up to lintel height. Then my very last job is to run the lentils across, finish my last course of bricks through, my last course of blocks, and then my wall plates. Wall plates go on, use your four foot level, use your four foot level, go across with your lump hammer, not your trowel because you won't get it down enough. Make sure that when you cut these, all you've got to do is lay it down in the floor inside, lay this one lapped over it, go past 100 mil, cut it off. The reason we leave this past 100 mil, that shouldn't have any pointing in there. I left that short for a reason. We leave this long 100 mil because when the joiners come back, they will half lap this middle joint. Because they're not here, I'm not doing their job for them. I've done half of it for them already. So they'll lift this piece, they'll lift this, or they won't even have to lift this piece. All they've got to do, cut that section out, notch it in place. They'll lift this one off, they'll cut that piece out. Then when they slide it in to half lap, that will finish perfect where it needs to be, which is on the inside of the block because that will have block work going up over it. So, leave it 100 mil long and it's a perfect job. Uh, another thing, what else have I got? Uh, so wall plates, wall plates. This is all on, same again, it's a step down, but it's exactly the same detail. We run everything through at the same time, wall plates nice and flush where they meet and they're left over 100 mil long because i can see i can slide he's pointed that because he doesn't realize yet but now he knows he knows why i leave it that bit of mortar out now don't you yeah. uh, i always build this up couple so as i can pull off it when i come into me and Everything's nice and clean down there. Trees, if you can get into there and have a look. This tree is spotless. All my ties are spotless. We've been round already. Give everything a knock. Or well, Aussie has been round and give everything a knock while I was building this. I've left a couple of bricks on here before Aussie jointed it so as it didn't bow forward. So that'll be nice and straight now all the way through. And the back, we've got the same again all the way through there it's perfect height these these wall plates are perfectly level so when they sit the trusses on there won't be any up and down with the roof line because it will affect it if you don't get these wall plates level it affects the roof line massively you'll see all these little bows which is horrible now that is perfectly straight perfectly level we've weighted this long one down with a few blocks and uh, everything's nice and neat if you look down the scaffolds they're clean the scaffolds will come back in, they'll be happy, we're happy, found a shovel, I'm happy about that, that can go down there, but everything's spotless, inside spotless, outside spotless, that's how you should leave your job, every single lift that you do, that's how they want it, the only thing that needed doing really is a little sweep off of this loading bay, but other than that, 
that is how you should leave it. And with these party walls, make sure you're no more than that above the wall plate. Because when they come to put this truss in, the strap will land over that block. So that's why I would have built these up higher, but you need to leave that down at that height so as when the, the straps come in, the truss straps, they'll go over the block and its jobs are good and the, the joint is going to love me. Trust me. I'm a bit later. <laughs> trust you. Trust me, yeah, trust me. So, that's how you leave it. And uh, that's all I've got to say about that for now. Thanks everybody for watching the video. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Give us a thumbs up. It helps the channel. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, go and hit that bell icon. Subscribe. It's free. And uh, you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.